Okay, Paul, I know your number one concern has been the linebacking group for the Buffalo yeah. Bills. Yep. Now you take Bob Babbage out of there. It's like, really? Yeah. I mean, that's like, oh, God. It's like Paul Abdul judging a singing contest. Like, it's just not a good idea. It's not it still good happened. Idea. And it still happened. <laughs> it yeah. still happened. So this still happened as well. I want to know, and the and the, and the nation. I want to let know the nation, right? Bob Babbage, I mean, we don't really talk a lot about position coach. Like, people don't really hear that a lot. No. Well, and to um, be honest with you, looking at the views from the – my favorite episode last week, which was – the uh, the uh, the the QB coach episode we did. Not many people watch episodes about coaching positions. No, nope, because don't. that was a great episode. I it was, was my favorite episode. I was a fan of that. My favorite episode. It was. It was fun. It just Babbage Liebman. You know, I mean, it's not going to get a lot of press. Whoever gets hired in that position, because there's already been a linebacker coach hired this this week. Right. <laughs> True story. True story. Um, but what, how do you think this impacts the linebacking board? Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Well, let's be clear. We're going from Bob Babbage to probably Bobby Babbage. And at what age are you just not Bobby anymore? I think that's an important question we need to answer. So Bob Babbage was the Bills linebacker coach. His son, Bobby Babbage, was the safeties coach. Yes. So doesn't Bobby Babbage sound like the ipso facto default, you know, I'm, I'm about to be a linebacker coach thing? I, he could. I, I, I suppose he could slide into that role because do you really need a safeties coach at this point? Yeah. I think you need one more than ever. Really? Absolutely. The bills what have could, been, what the could bills he bestow? Have been, the bills have been putting coins in that bank what to could replace he Hyde and Poyer I for know. two seasons. I, and the reason, and the reason this defense has survived the injuries at the linebacker group, which is understaffed and has been understaffed, right, mm -hmm. is because of the safety group. Now, do you think Bobby Babbage will be able to be? as uh, cavalier with the linebacker position, carrying as few linebackers as the Bills have. Yes. I, I think, I think I look at Bob Babbage, and former defensive coordinator, you know, like I think he's willing to bet on the fact that they'll survive with less talent, like less bodies rather. Bobby Babbage seems like the same, right? Think of how many safeties this, the Bills really carry. How many safeties is, have the Bills really carry technically because me sierra neal's a safety i don't care <laughs> <laughs> he's the kyle doug he's neutral sweet kyle duggar <laughs> no you <laughs> when you look at it this i i think of his disrespect what what could bobby teach i'm not trying to slight him but my point is this what really could bobby give the younger guys in the room that hide and poyer are giving them already Mm -hmm. They're showing them how to do it, right? How it's supposed to be done, right? And because they're playing at such a high level and the cohesiveness that they have, he could delegate some of his time, or probably has delegated some of his time, mm -hmm. to the linebackers because that is the communication that has to be paramount, right? And the fact that you had a father-son combination—that's right. going to be the most. That's why that group was able to communicate as well as they were, right? Now, if he happens to go to the linebacking core, I mean that makes sense. Mm -hmm. You may see more disguise of certain things that they may try to I'm sure they have different there, right? theories about how yeah. they would want to do business. Yeah. Um I mean I don't I don't I don't think the Bills I think they'll still draft guys that were safeties in college and maybe a little bit bigger mm -hmm. for their linebackers, which makes sense. The whole right. NFL's doing that. Right. Yeah, that's or, that's that was a trend Buffalo got in what felt like <clears throat> early because you watched that Jaguars defense where they had like Talvin Smith flying around. Miles yeah. Jack flying yeah, around. Into the AFC Championship. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It's That defense was fast, but they couldn't stop the run. Well, you know who's a free agent? He's a free agent. 
uh, free agent safety from Pittsburgh. Terrell Edmonds. Jermaine's brother. Sign him. Just move Jermaine outside. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, not what I meant. <laughs> no, but it does, it does, you know, the moving of position coaches, right? So if, if Bobby Babbage does take over the linebacker group, it does, he probably hasn't always seen things the same way as his dad. And because of I think a lot of people are like, oh, well, Bobby will take over linebacker. It'll be the same as it ever was, right? Like, it'll be, yeah. and but that's not true. How often do you see things exactly the same as your dad? Not as not not often, right? No. Like you just have a different perspective on it. So I look at Bobby going to lock the linebacker group, and I see a different perspective go to that linebacker. Group. Fresh pair of eyes. Right. So does that mean that the Bills are going to get an injection of youth in that linebacker group in in the draft? I hope so. Well, I, okay. He could he could do the status quo or take the example of his father and try to tweak it a little bit. That's one. Two, he could try to carve out his own path. Doesn't matter. Everything runs through Frazier and McDermott anyway. That's true. So That's he, true. he could try to do a bunch of things that he wants to do, but um, at the end of the day, it's not like he's the D.C. He, he got right. hired to D.C. Once right, then. but if he's going to go from one position coach to another position coach, that's too lateral at some point. Right, like it's it's yeah. just a lateral move on, you know, on the resume. So, what is he really doing, right? Like, does he really want to be a defensive coordinator because he's not climbing the ladder here? No, 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 no. But the if he here's the deal, he's already has on his resume that he was the safeties coach for the Buffalo Bills, who have arguably the best hand. Yeah, that's on his resume. Right. Which is good. If he goes and improves that linebacking core, taking over for his father. Mm-hmm. That's another – that's okay. He's improved two different units now. Right. This guy is a guy that may – Yeah. We may, we may want to elevate to something else. Like an assistant defensive coach. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know, as the senior assistant or, right. uh, you know, like they always say. So that could be the path that he's taking personally. And if he's able to shore up that linebacker room this year with maybe some fresh ideas that he has, connecting um, – connecting the safeties into the linebacking room and the communication that happens. They stay atop. You know, if Frazier, when Frazier leaves next year, I'm not, I'm not even going to say that he should get a job. He's getting a job next year. I, he's getting a job or he's getting fired. He'll he's be getting, one of the two. <laughs> if they're in the top, whatever, again, that's, that could be a discussion for another show. But the point is this. When Frazier leaves, he'll be a top, top defensive assistant. So let me let me ask you this: Is Bobby Babbage leaving? Is that listen? If that was it's Han Solo time, my friend. You see the the white hat. I saw the white hat. There's she probably is wearing the leather knee highs mm-hmm. and driving a Tahoe. Jeez. It that's like the family vehicle that's not really a family vehicle. She has her Xanax with wine. Not that I'm judging her. Is Wayne Brady going to have to choke a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Wayne Brady. <laughs> so if Bobby Babbage goes, because everybody knows position coaches in the NFL, it's an inside job, right? You get the job because you know somebody, right? Often your resume doesn't always lead you there unless it's like a big name that just happens to still not have a job. And sometimes those are risks, right? When you bring in a big name that sometimes doesn't have a job because since they've had higher jobs, they might not be very, uh, what's a good way to phrase this? They might not want to play nice in the sandbox with everybody else, right? Because they feel more accomplished than everybody else. So they might be taking a position coach job. They feel it's below them. So it just might not be a good dynamic, right? So the question is, what, what person from William and Mary is McDermott going to hire to be the safeties coach? It seems to be the, if that's on the resume, you just go right to final interview, right? It's like getting all the achievements before you fight the first boss, <laughs> right? It's just like in video games. If you get if you do all the side quests first, and then you go fight the first boss, you're just gonna. You're just in. That's it. It's done. It's over. It's basically you, over. You absolutely love setting that up, didn't you? 
you were just like, I'm just, you know, it just makes me laugh when you look at the coaching staff and you're like, okay, well, how many of them went to William and Mary? This is how you whine and dine the nation all the time. This is just no, but it's true. It is very true. Like you get comfortable it's with that, and it's, it's. But but Bobby Bobby Babbage and you know probably doesn't have the connections, right? No. So I'm no. sure that I'm sure somewhere Byron will help. Maybe, you know, maybe. Yeah. But I mean, are you guys been see, in the league how long now? A long time. Exactly. Maybe. But are you going to see a veteran guy? If Bobby Babbage does take the linebacker group position, are you going to see a veteran guy take over the safety group? Or are you going to see? A young guy that is more likely to buy into, you know, buy into that the process. Well, Bobby Babbage's kid, Robert, will take over the same. <laughs> what is he, six? I don't know. I don't even know if he has How a hard kid. is it to know. coach that same? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm saying. It's like being a tight ends uh, coach for New England. Would it be worse to get. I, well, listen, I know you slowed down for that joke. <laughs> I know you still have time for that joke. Hashtag would it, Dable. <laughs> would it be worse? Could could the position be worse without Babbage there? The safeties? Yeah, could the position be worse no, without No, Babbage no, no, because I think it's it's it, I think uh, things that you things that you want to institute you have to have the communication between the safeties and linebackers, and and Babbage is, is your perfect bridge to that because he's coached the safeties. He's, and his probably, father, he's probably he's talking to them. So player. that's that's number one. If you try to institute, because we've talked about it many many times, this defensive group has been together four years now. Right. Majority of them have been together for four years. Mm -hmm. So the thing that is Fraser's been touted for is the ability of the safeties to disguise their coverages. Because mm -hmm. if you don't know what the coverage is, then you're done. Right. <laughs> You're done. Right. So that's what Hyde and Poyer have been really, really good at doing. And mm -hmm. that's more feel from them and the cohesiveness that they've had. And maybe that's attributed to Babbage and the understanding of the offenses, the breakdowns. That have done. But if they want to institute new things and even bring the linebackers into disguising coverages, mm -hmm. I think that's a great move for the Bills. And I, having him you, need, you need to have that. Uh, you, need to, you need to have something be different. But I think that you – you don't go with a guy who's familiar to McDermott. And you go with a guy that has completely fresh eyes. Mm -hmm. Like, everyone's stealing personnel from other teams. Sure. Why don't the Bills start doing it? Yeah, they don't They don't really do that, you know? I would. I mean, they, they hire who they know, which makes sense. But I would hire, like, you want a safeties coach? Who, who had a pretty good safety tandem this year besides the Bills? Who had, who had who's pretty good safeties? Uh, who was the, uh, who's the safety coach in um... – for the Chargers, a tandem I, solid. I don't know. That is, yeah, they, a tandem solid. Their secondary was, I thought, was really, really solid. Um, I can't think of one at the moment, but if you, that that path is what I would do, I would just get another fresh, fresh pair of eyes back there. You know, and I think it's really fascinating when you look at the linebacker group and you bring Bab Bobby Babbage down from the safety position if he does get the linebacker group. You know, I really am curious how that impacts the linebacker group from an assignment standpoint. And here's why. Bob Babbage was chosen by Brian Erlacher to induct him into the Hall of Fame, right? That's how much, that's how, did you not know that? I did not. Yeah, Erlacher. I was uh, today years old. Yeah, so that's that's who inducted him into the Hall was Bob Babbage, Right. Brian Erlach, that's a huge. That's a big. Deal. That's a big check mark, right? Yeah. As a position coach, that's a huge check mark, especially since he wasn't there all that long. No. In Chicago, he was. You know, Babbage wasn't there for very long. But with that being said, right? Who is more Brian Erlacher, Matt Milano or Tremaine Edmonds? I'm just asking. Who's more Brian Urlacher, Matt Milano, or Terrell? Or Who's Tom more Keekly? Like, over <laughs> six one half dozen the other. Like, what do we have? Oh, God, I hate you so. You're not going to like the comment section at all. You keep doing this, everybody. It's okay. It's all right. Urlacher is more tailored like Milano. I know. Safety's coming out of college. I know. <laughs> yes. You think that was you think there was an internal power struggle where he wouldn't 
Do you buy the I, I think, Milano the middle? I think Bob. I think Bobby Babbage looks at the athletic profile and says, "Let's let's be let's oh be a little God. sneakier this year. Oh my let's God. be a little sneakier this year." Well, I mean, I'm telling you right now, with the sheer athleticism of Tremaine Edmonds, yeah, the hybrid nature of Milano, yeah, Hyde and Poyer doing mm-hmm. what they do, that four could be their own unit. Sure could. And they sure could, could. They could. Can you just, imagine Milano just, dropping into safety? Just draft me another one, man. Just, just, yeah, just, just, just give me a one. Just give me a hybrid. Draft me another one. Or just, you know, take Evans from Pittsburgh. Unite the brothers. And then trade your first round pick for Diggs. For, uh, Trayvon Diggs? Trayvon Diggs. <laughs> How many yards do you want to give up on defense this year? <laughs> uh, I want to give up none with 13 seconds left. Probably not your guy. 